Good morning everyone. This is Rishali. In my last sessions, we discussed about conditional probability, then bias theorem, and we also discussed about some previous machine learning algorithms. I have mentioned machine learning subject playlist link in below description box. In today's session, I am going to present the next topic that is Navy bias classifier. So for this topic, you must watch my previous video bias theorem. So let's see this topic. We will discuss following points in the session that is about Navy bias classifier. Why is it called Navy bias? Then bias theorem, Navy bias algorithm, their examples, advantages and disadvantages and applications. So let's see one by one. The first point is about Navy bias classifier. So what exactly Navy bias algorithm is? Navy bias algorithm is based on supervised learning algorithm. We discussed supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning algorithm in our previous sessions. So Navy bias algorithm is one type of supervised learning algorithm and it is completely based on bias theorem. This algorithm generally used for to solving the classification problems. Suppose there is a one particular data set and in this data set multiple features are given. So as per the features, you need to find out the product or you need to find out the particular object. So for this purpose, this Navy bias classification algorithm is used. This algorithm mainly used in text classification, then uh, object classification as per their features and which includes high dimensional training data set. Next point is Navy bias cl classifier. This one kind of classifier, they classify the data as per their features. Okay. And this one of the most simple and most effective classification algorithm. That's why this is one of the most important algorithm in supervised learning techniques. Navy bias classification algorithm helps to build a fast machine learning models and to predict the data in more easiest way or fastest way. So that's why this algorithm is used. The most popular example of Navy bias algorithms are spam filtration. There is a spam mails are there in your emails, right? So emails are by default classified into the spa spam folder, into the inbox or into the send folder, right? So this algorithm is used for this email generation purpose. Then sentimental analysis, text classification and classifying the articles. So for all this classification purpose, this Navy bias classifier algorithms are used. The next and most important points, why is it called Navy bias? Okay. So first, what is Navy? So Navy because it assumes that it is the occurrence of certain features, which is independent of occurrence of other features. Let's take one example. Suppose uh, there is a features, data set of the features. For example, uh, color is red, then a uh, shape is spherical and the test is sweet. So as per the features, you need to identify the fruit. Suppose as per this feature, fruit is apple, right? So this is a work of Navy bias algorithm and this is called as Navy means multiple features are there. And as per the features, you recognize a particular object and bias. Bias means this particular algorithm is completely depend on principles of bias theorem. We already discussed bias theorem in previous session. I have mentioned the link of that video in below description box. So Navy means as per the multiple features or occurrence of certain features and bias means it depends on bias theorem. Next. So uh, just see here, this is a bias theorem. We use this formula for solving the equations or solving the examples by using Navy bias classifier algorithm. So this is a bias theorem that we already discussed in previous session. So let's review here. Uh, probability of A given that B. This is called as posterior probability. Means B condition is already occur. You need to find out the A. Then probability of B given that A. Means A event already occur. You need to find out probability of B. This condition is called as likelihood probability. Then probability of A means prior probability. And probability of B means evidence. Right? So A and B, these two events are occur. So this is called as bias theorem. So let's see how to use this bias theorem by using Navy bias algorithm. So first see here, these are the some algorithm steps uh, of this Navy bias classifier formula. 
now just see here in this uh, formula so as per their algorithms the first step is you need to find out probability of a event this is your first step second step is you need to find out probability of b this is your second step third step is you need to find out probability of b given that a and after adopting or after inserting all the values into this equation you need to find out probability of a given that b so this algorithm we used in navy bias classifier and these are the algorithm steps next okay. now see here this is the example of navy bias theorem so just consider that this is your training data set this first image indicate your training data so from this training data set the first column is weather which indicates your training data and this is a play this is your target variable okay so in this weather there are three types of weather is there one is sunny second one overcast and third one is rainy three types of weather is there so as per the weather you will play in ground or not okay suppose sunny weather no overcast yes you should play rainy weather you should play yes so in this way this data set is given okay weather and as per the weather this is your target variable so let's start the example solving the first step is you need to convert the data set into the frequency table this is your first step okay so see here this data set is given first convert the data set into the frequency table so in frequency table see here this is a weather three types of weather is there overcast rainy and sunny and there is a no and yes so you need to calculate how many yes is there and how many no is there in this data set so let's see here overcast here overcast yes then overcast yes second time then here overcast yes 3 and overcast yes 4 means for overcast weather how many yes is there 4 similarly for rainy weather you should calculate how many no is there and how many yes is there see here for rainy weather yes then uh, again rainy weather yes is here so there are two yes is there right and no how many no is there three no's is there in this data set so in this way you need to calculate the frequency table so from this three weather this times of no is there in this data set and these are the yes okay so as per their grand total there are five no present in this data set and nine yes present in this data set okay so this is your first step convert data set into the frequency table now second step the second step is you need to create likelihood table okay as per the frequency table you need to calculate likelihood table to finding the probabilities okay so see here what is likelihood probability likelihood probability means probability of b given that a as per your bias theorem formula okay so this is your frequency table right now what is likelihood see here how many yes is there four for overcast weather right and how total data is present there are 14 data is present in this data set right total 14 so from this 14 four is yes for overcast weather so 4 by 14 0.29 this is a likelihood probability of overcast similarly rainy weather rainy weather there are total five assumption is there so five and total by 14 five by 14 0.36 for sunny weather total 3 plus 2 3 yes 2 no so 5 by 14 0.36 right so this is called as likelihood probabilities so you should use this likelihood probability for solving the equation okay and similarly see here how many no are there in this data set 5 no is there so from that 14 5 no is there means probability of no is 0.36 and probability of yes how many yes is there in this data set 9 so 9 by 14 0.64 means 0.64 yes probability is there clear so this is your second step first step create frequency table second step create likelihood table now third step is you need to use navy bias equation you should use bias theorem and put up all these values into the bias theorem so let's see okay now see here this is your third step so our problem statement it players will play if weather is sunny if there is a sunny weather then players will play in ground so you need to find out the probability of this statement whether this statement correct or not okay so this is our problem statement 
So as per our bias theorem formula, see this is our bias theorem formula. So as per their bias theorem formula, put up this value into this theorem. See here, probability of yes given that sunny. As per our problem statement, sunny weather is there and will play means yes. Okay. So yes given that sunny and put up this value into this formula. This is our formula, right? Now the first step is you need to identify the value of this equation. Okay. So see here, first probability of sunny given that yes. So sunny weather. So from that sunny weather, how many yes is there? Three yes is there. So three and yes, yes means total yes is nine, right? So three divided by nine. This is total yes and this is yes for sunny weather. Okay. Three by nine is 0 0.33. Next is probability of sunny. So for this sunny weather, how many uh, total outcomes is there? 3 plus 2, 5. And total data set is 14. Okay. So 5 by 14, 0 0.36. Next probability of yes. How many yes is there? Total 9. So 9 divided by 14. 14 is total values present in data set. So 9 by 14, 0 0.64. So just put up these three values into our formula. See, 0 0.33 into 0 0.64. And divided by 0 0.36. So put up this value into this formula. Bias theorem. Right. 0 0.33 into 0 0.64. Upon 0 0.36. So final answer is 0 0.60. So this is the probability of yes. Given that sunny weather. And the probability is 0 0.60. Similarly you should find out probability of rainy weather. And whether the condition is yes. And similarly you should find out the probability of overcast weather. When the condition is yes. And from this all three condition. Which is the highest probability. The highest probability is 0 0.60. Okay. So 0 0.60. This is the highest probability. And this probability is there. When players will play if weather is sunny. So this statement is correct. So in this way Navy bias theorem is used. According to the features. Or depend on the features that present in data set. Now the next one is advantages and disadvantages. So the main advantages of Navy bias classifier algorithm is, is a fast and easy machine learning algorithm to predict the classes in data set. It is used in binary as well as multi-class classification. So we already discussed this point in previous session. Then it performs well in multi-class prediction. In multi-class classification algorithms, these algorithms are used and it is a popular choice in text classification problems. And the disadvantages is in Navy bias completely depend on features, right? But sometimes features in data sets are unrelated or independent features are there. So at that time, this Navy bias algorithm can't work. Only dependent features are there or similar features are there. Only this time, this algorithm will work. Now see here, there are the different applications that algorithms uh, we use. For example, it is used for credit scoring in credit card system, right? There are multiple features and functions are there. Then medical data classification algorithm means as per the symptoms, you should find out the disease. For this purpose, this algorithm is used. Then object and face detection purpose. Then uh, in email, there is a spam emails filtering. Then sentiment analysis. Then recommendation system, right? So for uh, in Amazon, in Flipkart, there is a recommended products are there. Means what you have purchased previously. So as per your purchased history, they should see, uh, they should give you particular recommendation, right? So for all this purpose, this Navy bias classifier algorithm is used. Thank you. Keep watching. Keep learning.